Yeah, 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 yeah. Go to C. Go to C. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Hurry up. We got a triple cap. We got a triple cap. We almost out of town. Hop on it, hop on it, hop on it. I'm watching the door, watching the door. What's up? Hey, we barely got the win. Boys is camping hella crazy, dude. Hey, we got the dub. That's what's up. That's what I like to see. GG's, everybody. GG's. Wait, hold on, hold on. Hold on, I hear something. Hold on. What's good with y'all? It's your boy Ross back at again with another video. So, I got a story time for you guys, man. Uh, you see the title? Yes, your boy is afraid of elevators. I have a serious fear of elevators. Um, I'm just... I'm not good when I'm around them, when I know I have to get on one. I'm, I'm, I'm just not the biggest fan. I'm that guy that will really take several flights of steps before I get on the elevator serious not even making this up like if there's an opportunity to take steps in the elevator i'm gonna take the steps unless i have something heavy and i have to take the elevator but i'm gonna break down why so it started when i was a kid i had to be in elementary um we were actually going on a field trip um the houston museum of fine arts they just reopened like a new section so the school that i went to at the time they decided to take our class there on a field trip the class was broken up into two groups i was in one group and then some other people that i know in the class they was in another group now the other group they went on their separate way and we went on our separate way um but we was going upstairs to check out some of the new art galleries upstairs so in my mind you know this we could have took the steps you know what i'm saying and at this time i wasn't really afraid of elevators i actually thought they were kind of cool at the time so i wasn't really afraid but i was like we could have took the steps but it didn't matter it was neither here nor there but we got on the elevator now before all this went down i have to let i have to kind of set the scene because like i said i wasn't afraid of elevators but it wasn't until right before this field trip happened that I started gaining a little bit of fear for him. So I was watching this show on TV. I think my mom was watching it. I was just watching it in the background, being nosy. And in the scene in the show, I'll never forget this. There was a group of people in the elevator. And the elevator fell. And they all died when it opened up. They were all dead. So imagine a little kid like me seeing that. And it kind of puts it plants to see the fear you know what i'm saying so at that point i was kind of like nervous around elevators because i wasn't really scared because you know it hadn't happened so i was like all right cool i'm just you know i'm not as confident as i was with elevators as i used to be um so after that we get on the elevator remind remember it's like 10 kids and like two adults on the elevator the elevator was a nice size if we weren't too cramped so we get to the second floor there's only two floors in the building we get to the second floor and it's stuck it won't open when i say the fear in me intensified because then i started remembering oh shit oh man oh man what if this elevator falls and then we all die like all this is running in my head but i don't say anything so i get i'm i literally just started backing away into one of the corners in the elevator and i'm just quiet like i start hyperventilating i'm starting to get hot you know what i'm saying i'm like oh man i'm oh my god i'm in here dying bro like they need to hurry up and open the door some of the kids start getting scared i was in there just like trying to keep my composure but i was terrified so when they finally opened up the elevator doors when i say i took the biggest <gasps> a big deep breath of fresh air like i was just so happy to be free and i don't even know how long we was in there we may have been there for like a good it was like maybe it was like 
five, six minutes, but those minutes felt so long when you in an elevator full of low key. I mean, not everybody was frantic, but there was a lot of kids in there that was starting to get a little bit scared and nervous. Oh my God, bro. And ever since then, it scarred me. So it's to the point now where if I get on the elevator, bro, at any point in the day, like I'll stop talking. Like, say hey, I'm talking to someone on the elevator, and if I get on there, I'm not going to say anything. I'm just going to be quiet. I'm not going to make a single peep because I'm thinking, okay, if it stops, you know what I'm saying, how long would it take them to get to us? I'm actually checking to see if there's emergency phones because a lot of elevators have, like, emergency phones or something that you can, like, press to call someone. So I'm trying to make sure the elevator is up to code. I'm, you think I'm playing. Like, you know, all elevators or most of them should have, like, when it was last inspected, if it's up to code, I'm checking every single time i get in one i'm checking is this up to cold hold on this is, is this expired like i'm you think i'm bsing and i'm doing this just while being still and being quiet like i just i, sh I shut down like I, I start concentrating on other stuff if if it's starting to shake a little big I, I start to you know get a little bit nervous i'm trying to listen to if there's any loud creaks in the elevator shaft like i'm i'm in there trying to be as alert as possible and then i'm also thinking if it does fall what do i do <laughs> this is me man so that's why i said at the beginning of this video i will literally take steps before i take an elevator unless i'm moving something heavy and i have to take the elevator then i will by necessity nine times out of ten if we go into the, like the fifth floor all right, I'll meet y'all there. Hey, I mean, I get my exercise in. I may be out of breath, but y'all get my exercise in. You know what I'm saying? Hey, Ross, we can take the elevator. No, 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 no. I'm good. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna I'm walk up there. I need I need to work out. So, for those who know me, if you've never like picked up on just the little subtle signs I do around the elevators, now you know. For those who don't know me, this is something that uh, you know I wanted to kind of share with you guys. Like it, I know it's kind of a weird phobia to have, but elevators, man, they're my uh, they're just my arch nemesis, bro. Like Superman has kryptonite, you put me around the elevator, that's it, bro. Like if boys wanted to know how to torch me push him next to it wait what are you doing wait what are you doing <laughs> give us the codes no please don't do it throw him in the elevator <laughs> no okay here's the code <laughs> i'm giving away all government secrets i'm giving away everything i'm not playing no games you can have it you can have the nuclear launch codes just do not put me in that goddamn elevator please so just wanted to give y'all a little bit of uh, insider on some of the more personal things that kind of, you know, give me some fear and make me uh, make me tense up a little bit. But I want to know what are some weird phobias you guys have. Comment down below. Let me know if there's like you're just afraid of whatever random stuff that you're afraid of. Let me know. I want to start a conversation with you guys because there's, there's a lot of things that you would be surprised people are afraid of. So I want to see what you guys uh, have a fear of, man. So comment down below. Let me know. I appreciate y'all kicking with me. I'll see y'all on the next one. Peace. Peace.